What's going on everybody? My name is Daytona and welcome to my show, the show that has no name. Anyways, this is the kickstart of me talking about technology because I love technology. If you know me personally, then you know that I'm a buff about it. I rave over it. Apple is at it again. That's gonna be the theme of this episode, but we'll dive into that a little bit more as we go. You actually see it as we go through the different points. The first thing I wanna start with is the Apple iPhone smart battery cases. Now, this comes in three sizes. You can get this for the iPhone 10s, the 10s Max, and the 10R. Now, if you don't already know, the iPhone 10R is currently the one that has the longest lasting battery of any of the iPhones. That's because it uses an LCD screen as opposed to an OLED. The iPhone 10R is already stacked, and I think it can last like, well, Apple likes to do it in how much, how long it can surf the internet, how long it can talk for, how long it can stream music. And that's how they rate it instead of giving you hours or days. You can get these cases for them. According to the official Apple website, they do fit around the price range of $130. All of them are $130. And the last time Apple did this was with the iPhone 6, and that was about $100 for those. Now, you get an updated version. And they actually look better. People are raving that they're a little bit better, but are they worth $130? I'll let you decide that one. And there you have it. Give me the monies. More monies from more phones, more technology, more monies. Now in other news, Apple has had a major problem. And what is this problem? Back when Group FaceTime launched, Apple had a bug in its software which allowed users to hear audio of other devices that are being called uh, before they answer. Basically what this bug means is that you could FaceTime somebody and then as a third person, you could actually FaceTime yourself back. And once you FaceTimed yourself back, it would register that you're a third party coming in and then it would actually connect the audio to the second person, the person you're trying to call and would allow you to hear their audio. If Grandma Jill was worried about you calling her and you FaceTimed her and then you FaceTimed yourself and she said, ah, dang it, Jimmy's at it again. Why has he got to call me? You could hear that. So what does this mean for the future of your iPhone? Apple has released an official update and I should link that below for you if you need to update your phone to 1.4 and it should solve that problem. If you need to update your phone, I recommend you do that ASAP. That way you can get rid of this bug and that way people cannot spy on you. It's incredible because all these news sources were putting out that a 14 year old who goes by the name Grant Thompson had revealed this bug and his mother tried to make it known to Apple. This 14 year old will actually be rewarded a lump sum of money for finding this bug. Of course we cannot end the day without talking about future technology that's coming up and Apple, oh Apple. There are some interesting designs going out about the iPhone 11, if that's what we can call it. Anyways, there's this concept going on and the most popular idea is that the, the smaller two, so like basically the next version of the 10R and the next version of the 10S will have a dual setup camera, just like it currently is on the iPhone 10 and 10s and 10s Max. But the theory is supposed to be that it's supposed to be called what they call a Cyclops, centered on the back of the phone and has the flash in the middle with the two lenses on the side of it. But the special thing about the the next 10s Max or the next X whatever Max will be that it's supposed to have a three camera setup and a flash. So if you're not already excited, nah, maybe should you be excited? I don't know. I'll leave it up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Apparently there's a lot of theories about the battery supposed to be increased and iOS 13 that comes with it and for your, future, for your phones in the future will be amazing. We'll feature some incredible things like dark mode and a revamp of the home screen, which will be very welcomed. But yeah, that's kind of it for today's episode. I wanted to be a little bit shorter, so let me know what you think about it. Oh, Apple, give me the monies. That's what you want. My name is Daytona. Don't forget to share this with your friends and engage with me because I love engaging with you. And until next time, we'll see you later.